Storytelling is a fundamental part of every great brand, right? Every great brand that has longevity in the retail space, every great product, every great service, every great institution has a story behind it. Every great brand has a story and that story connects to the emotions, the characters, the values of the people that, that live that product every day. Storytelling's always been a part of business. It's just now we're overtly talking about as a tool that leaders can use as opposed to something that's just innate in our brands and the products that we give to people. What I think storytelling does is it brings a different element. Storytelling says it's not about the list of things we have to do, it's about the connection that we give to people about a piece of information we're trying to share. A good story at its essence is simply conveying a message that has logic, it has emotional connection, and it also has larger purpose. Storytelling is the difference between solving a problem and creating a cause, right? Lists solve a problem. Here's an issue we face, let's create a pro and con list about how to solve it, pick the best option from there. A cause is something that ignites people and unites people. And I think that's what a good story does, is it creates a cause. There's a few things you have to do as a manager to create a, a really good story. The first and foremost thing you have to do is you have to know your audience. A good story is designed for the audience. It may not connect to you, it may not always make sense to you, it's not using words that you might be familiar with, but it's things that your audience understands and your audience knows. So I think that's rule one, is who's your audience, where do they come from, and what do they need? I think the second part of a good story is a clear sequence of events. You listen to a great storyteller, there's a very clear sequence of events that moves the story from a beginning to an end. And I think last but not least is having moments of reflection or questions that remain unanswered, that build suspense, that build intrigue, and that have someone sitting on the edge of their seat to have you answer them. The great storyteller asks and answers questions along the way. They build suspense and they reduce that suspense by answering the, the questions. Storytellers that, that aren't so good leave those questions hanging in the air, and so people walk out confused, unsure, uncertain about the direction to take from there. If you have a compelling story, something that is of interest, something that is um, powerful, people are gonna listen no matter what the medium is. And what we get trapped by is the expectation that, that the audience doesn't wanna be compelled. Most business leaders are honestly bored with 90% of the conversations they have in a day. They, they sit there and they have PowerPoint after PowerPoint, and they have meeting after meeting, and they have to-do list after to-do list, and they're looking to be inspired. And so as a student, I think the biggest thing you have to get over at the start is your own uncertainty about whether or not the tool works. What does your audience need? A business leader, they want a little bit of data, they want hard fact, and they want recommendations. The space in between that and how you get to those things, that's where storytelling can be compelling. Locate the most powerful part of your message and lean on it. Is it one piece of data? Is it a single profile? Is it a single conversation? And last but not least is make sure that, that you create moments of reflection. There's big powerful questions sitting in front of this leader to think about. There's a variety of stories that a leader can tell in an organization. And when we talk about design thinking, we talk about what type of story is most appropriate when you're trying to drive transformation. In this story, the figure of this story, the main character, is the big wicked problem facing the organization. And so some things that you need to do typical in that type of story is first you have to sell the challenge. You have to help the audience understand how the current state is more dangerous than any other possibility out there. You have to get them in the frame of mind that they want to take this on and make this challenge a cause that they can invest in. And that's fundamentally the first thing you have to do. Then you have to be able to talk very intelligently about the fellowship or what I would call kind of the, the people that are involved in the challenge, whether that be the customers you're observing, the stakeholders in there, make sure that they have a good understanding of all the people involved. Last but not least, you have to give them a chance to talk about the tensions that exist. Right? This challenge creates tensions for us. In our business today, we have a big challenge around um, doing the right thing, around sustainability. How do you build a good business that actually does good? If you can present those tensions, you create a place where people want to get involved because they want to have that debate and that conversation. And last but not least, you have to present on the very end the possibilities that there is a way to get this solved.
that there is a, a path that we can head to make movement in that regard. And so I think that story, when you put the challenge as the, as the figure, it comes down to just really making sure that they understand how big it is, what the tensions are that exist, and what you can do. I think the question of why is storytelling important to leadership in tomorrow's world, I think that's a fundamental question of what makes storytelling a compelling tool to learn about, uh, to find out about, and to understand. As I look towards the world we live in, there's three basic challenges that leader, leaders face. One is that they only have about 20% of the people that they lead, only about 20% of their attention. And so storytelling allows you to get them to pay attention for just a little bit longer, for a little bit more time with a little bit more diligent energy. I think that's important. If you can raise the level of engagement in your business, you will do wonders to your performance. And storytelling allows you to create energy and passion and excitement around something. So I think that's one reason why leaders need to start using storytelling in a different ways. Secondly, storytelling allows you to um, make strategy accessible. Strategy is accessible, accessible only for about three groups of people, right? The leaders that write it, the consultants that help them do it, and the professors that create case studies around it. For everyone else, strategy is this difficult thing that causes complexity and uncertainty in our lives. And I think what storytelling does for leaders in terms of strategy is it makes it simple. It makes it relatable. It gives strategy color and life and character and plot and it allows the line worker working in your manufacturing unit to the vice president running marketing to have the same understanding of what we're trying to do. And so for me those are two reasons and there's a number more about why storytelling is an essential tool for leaders to become competent in and experts in as they move forward.